Hello, I had a few hours to spare, so I decided what I would do with my Toshiba Chromebook 2. Now, I deliberately kept my Toshiba Chromebook 2, even though I knew the AUE date was going to expire. Now, the AUE date did expire in September, so it did receive its last update, and it's, it got all the warnings that it was going to get its last update as well. So that was all, all fine. And I know that I could still use this Chromebook for a good maybe three months and there isn't really going to be any risk in doing that. But the whole reason why I did keep this was to see what I could do once Chrome OS was no longer going to receive updates. So I thought I would install Cloud Ready. Um, now, <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot easier than it actually was. It took me quite a few hours, so it, it's not the easiest of things to do. But one thing I was quite shocked at, once I did finally eventually install Cloud Ready on my Toshiba Chromebook, how close it is to Chrome OS, it, it's, it's very much identical. I'll show you that when we go over to the computer in a bit, I'll show you what it looks like on here. Um, but essentially, it's not just about reformatting your hard drive and getting a recovery uh, stick on your USB. That isn't how it works. You need to do that, but that will not work. And the reason for that is because all Chromebooks have a copyright protection on them and it's a right protection on them. It's a right only protection. And the reason for this will be so you can't install other operating systems onto the Chromebook. So what I realized was I actually had to open up the laptop. Now, I love technology and I love software but I don't like dealing with the hardware side of things because I'm always worried I'm going to break it. So I wasn't very happy about that. But I had to unscrew all of the screws. Obviously, I had to watch a video to find out how to do it. Um, and then once I've done that, there's a little, like, um, on the Toshiba, they're all different, but there's a little, like, seal, a round seal. Like, what you get when you, when you buy something and it's got, got that it's certified by a type of company. So it's sort of like a silver seal. I had to scrape that off carefully with a screwdriver, put some tape over it, put it all back together. Then I had to go down the route of getting the operating system installed. Once I'd done that, that was easy. So the hard part for me was the unscrewing of this and doing all that. And most people wouldn't want to do that. Um, but what I did realize is once I've done it and I had to follow another video then to find out how to put cloud ready on here and you have to use scripts what someone's created and although I don't mind using these Linux scripts what were created worst case scenario these scripts you're using could actually be contain viruses you don't know what's in them so it, it's not the easiest of things to do but it, I'm, I'm quite happy that it's installed I'm quite happy it's all safe and the good thing is now I can continue to use this laptop for the next few years now like I said before with AUE AUE date on the Chromebook it used to be five years I think when it first came out then it went up to six years now you get a good eight years eight and a half years out of a Chromebook and I think that for a laptop is really good. It's not an issue. I don't think that is. My, most Microsoft laptops, the shelf life for a laptop to work from being new to the end is about five years because everything changes. There's updates to their operating system. So it's the same with Microsoft, although they may not have an AUE date, it's the same thing. But that being said, I completely understand that you can still use a laptop afterwards. And that was the issue for me. It's not, if I was going to buy a brand new Chromebook tomorrow, like I did for my Asus 713, for example, that comes with a AUE date of June 2028. So I ain't going to have a problem with that running out in June 2028, because would I still be using that laptop then? No, I wouldn't, but I appreciate some people would. Um, for me, the issue is more to do with it's just a case you've got a laptop, you, you can't just throw it away when there's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't feel right. Certainly with the, the, the world we live in today, we should be you know, saving the environment and not just chucking things away when there's nothing wrong with them. And certainly when you've got something like a Toshiba laptop, which has got a fantastic display. So I'll show you now how it looks. And I think you will be quite surprised because it's very, very similar to Chrome. I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting Cloud Ready to be different, a slightly different operating system, but it's virtually identical. There's only a few differences. So let's open this up, turn it on, and I'll show you how it looks. 
So here we are, this is the desktop. As you can see, it looks very similar to Chrome OS. You wouldn't realize that you're not using Chrome OS. The only way you can tell from this here, this actual screen, is that you can see it's got Chromium there rather than Chrome. So if you click on there, it goes into Google exactly the same. This is the Chromium browser, which receives updates. And that was the problem with Chromebook. So the AUE date expires the Chrome browser would stop receiving updates. So this still gives you updates. But in relation to everything else, you can still change the background, for example, you could change the wallpaper. They're all there, just change it to whatever you like. Right, for example, um, the start menu is exactly the same. This doesn't have Android apps because this is a 2C Chromebook 2, so it didn't support Android apps. How it would work with Android apps, Cloud Ready, I don't know. I've not looked into that, if I'm being honest with you. And then you've got your File Explorer. If you click on there, you've got Google Drive. That's automatically there, so you don't need to do anything different there. You've got your Downloads folder. Everything, the way it works, is exactly the same. There's no files because I've only just installed Cloud Ready on this Toshiba. Um, as I said, the only real re way you can tell here is through that there. Um, if you go to settings, they all look the same. But in settings, you will notice a difference. So if you click on settings there, and here, all the settings here are exactly the same. But here you'll see that it's got about cloud ready rather than about Chrome OS. Click on that, and you can see the cloud ready logo. And it's got check for updates, similar to what you get in Chrome OS, so you can do that manually, or it will update automatically as well. So when they do a new update, it will update. So this is a way you can use your Chromebook after the AUE date is expired safely. It's not a safe cloud. Cloud Ready is a safe operating system, but it's an open source operating system. Um, so it, it's not going to be as secure as Chrome OS, but it's going to be as secure as any other operating system you use, but it wouldn't be as secure as Chrome OS, but it's definitely more secure than using a Chromebook with Chrome OS when the AUE date is expired. So it's definitely more set secure for that. Um, and it's a great way of getting extra life out of a laptop, which has nothing wrong with it. And also it means you could then sell it on to someone else and not feel like you've sold them something they can't use safely. It's just about people understanding what cloud ready is. So I'm sure that will happen in the future. What I think needs to happen is when the um, Chromebook expiration expiry date is coming into play, it should come up here that you can install cloud ready. And now that Google have brought Neverware, hopefully that's what they'll do in the future. That would be something really good to see rather than what I had to do, which was to open up the back repair you know it's just a bit bit of a nonsense really but i hope this video helped if it did please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos thanks for watching